And get to our breaking news this morning from the roadways to the skies. You can see wildfires burning out of control across the Texas Panhandle. Four fires burning thousands of acres, including one near a nuclear weapons facility just outside Amarillo. Yeah, our Chris Sadegui is following those fires in our breaking news center. And Chris, we've been getting new video from the Panhandle overnight. Oh yeah, amazing video. Really restless night for our neighbors in the Panhandle as many of them still evacuated from their homes at this hour while firefighters work throughout the night to save those homes from these wildfires that have started in a few different spots, but the biggest is this one called the Smokehouse Creek Fire. It's burned 300,000 acres and threatened homes near the towns of Canadian and Miami. Firefighters prioritize protecting structures throughout the night while trying to establish containment lines. That was the latest that we got from the Forest Service. One of the structures they were very concerned about is a nuclear power plant just outside of Amarillo. The Pantex plant is operated by Consolidated Nuclear Security and the fire forced them to shut down for a time on Tuesday, but overnight the plant did announce they will have all personnel report for duty for their regular schedule and they'll run normal operations. So it sounds like the threat there is alleviated. Now statewide, Governor Greg Abbott has placed 60 different counties under a disaster declaration and also warned that the conditions right now in the state are ripe for these type of fires. So try to avoid any kind of outdoor activity that could even create sparks because Mario Ruiz, we know that with the conditions the way they are right now, the high winds, the dry vegetation, just a spark can create fires like this. It's really, truly unfortunate in the last few days really set up for this kind of fire to thrive. It was very warm in the panhandle, 75 degrees or higher. That's about 25 degrees or warmer than the normal low humidity, less than 20% most of the time. Strong winds Amarillo reported a 65 mile per hour wind gust without a thunderstorm storm and of course the dormant vegetation because well it's still winter now those fires are spreading over several counties but the largest one like Chris mentioned the Smokehouse Creek fire that has zero percent containment and as of now ranks fifth as the largest wildfire in Texas history with acres burned. Now the smoke plume, that's the color that you see there is pushing towards the south. Eventually our winds are going to shift back Thursday, making that smoke plume go up and towards the north into Oklahoma. Here's what it looked like on satellite imagery. That's the fire spanning over several counties. That's the approaching cold front. That line that you see there, once the front pushes through those winds shift and push that smoke plume towards the south. So not only are we dealing with of course, the devastating acres burned, but now air quality concerns, unhealthy or orange air quality in the panhandle. That's going to eventually shift towards the south, all thanks to our wind. So we'll be watching this very closely, Cleo. All right, Marielle, thank you. We're going to be following that situation in the panhandle, as you said, throughout the day. So we're going to bring you updates on air and online at WFAA.com and our WFAA app.